with a flashbang. Not many flashes for the pistol round. Vendetta's got one in his hands, but here comes Twists already kicking things off with a strong start. Yeah, I could start from Twist displaying that brilliant aim he's got. And here they come out of Palace and out of the ramp and Twist through the connector trying to maneuver their way into a wrap upon this Ooh, side yes. and let he's being caught too. Twist, this is what we're talking about. This is what we got to see if they're going to win this one. Twist stepping up and delivering a great amount of firepower. So far, Loba though, chiming in and Vendetta gets caught in the open. Loba comes in with another one and that's the bomb loose and that's going to call Twist to come back and he will land another one. Twist with three headshots on the P250 and now we've got to look to Cat and Henry G to pull this one back. Henry starts to leave. Jungle, nice shot from Henry. He'll start to look for another one as it's down to Starix left in the one versus two and Henry ever the player to pick up utility has a kit and a smoke on his back Starix will peek into the open Henry gets close closest down some space and he swings for the headshot Henry G comes in for the successful retake and Loba will pick up the pistol yeah, I feel like we were asking for Henry, the player we, we said would be pretty good, but he, he didn't have to stand out. That's done well there. That started off really strong in that pistol in a close 2v2 scenario. Now we can only hope he can continue to take matters into his own hands with this AK, and that's what we need to see. Headshot delivered. Yeah, go oh, oh, another one from Twist. He's feeling it. He really is. There's not much you could do about that one if you're Henry. Just have to accept that you've just been mauled. And Acorn goes into the open. What? And Twist with another flick up. Okay. He's got one of the best raw aims in the world. And finally taken oh. down by the MP9. Three kills from Lopa as he drops down from Palace. And all the hard work done from Twist might just be for naught. The bomb is loose in the open. Cat is there with a the rifle, and the information is being picked up for Loba, who doesn't want to get involved in the fight. But look at this the plates with the murder hole. Starix in behind. Cat has no idea, but if she can take one down on the connector, at least at a minimum, it'll be a 1v1. But Starix! Oh, whiffs kill. Yeah. And, and Starix there with that Deeg. Oh, Matt, that's why I hate buying the Deeg, because as soon as you miss the first shot, you're just you're just panicking fully. This was nice from Loba. I think mostly against non-armored players, which is why the MP fair fight to give them a chance. Looks like it will be this A site tested. Loba up in the palace smoke again with an MP9. This could be dangerous, but he wins that first fight and now he gets that palace control. Letty can fully focus on ramp. And this just looks, oh, what? Loba was mid air there with the MP9. Oh, he's having a field day. This could be a very quick final map of the day indeed. Twist goes to fight up short. Henry, not one to really put himself in compromised positions, especially fighting Twists at range. He's already tasted the lead. He doesn't want to put himself in that position yet again. So smoked off inside a connector. Letney's going to peer over the top of the smoke, peering on the right side of the gap. And Loba, oh, finally put in a crowd. Buster doubles his kill count and removes the MP9 god. Twists, there we go. Sneaky in the smoke. Vendetta chimes in. Woo. It's just chaos, but it's it's favoring Team Buster as they fully focus on the mid control. This time not needing to rely on it. We've got the window smokes, which is always a good baseline. And now the flash is coming through as well. Letney caught out in the open. Getting twists, I think, realizing he might be better off taking initiative early to give his team the early chances in this one. Bomb's been left behind. This boost is scary, but Starix gets the timing just right. And this mid presence is proving really valuable right now for Team Buster. It doesn't even matter that they've left the bomb behind. They're just so far up. Oh, uh, Starx, lovely headshot on towards Cat. It is just Henry left alone here, and I don't think uh, it's really going to be getting away with his life. So hunting him from two sides. Uh, Loba is, is so fun to watch right now. I can't take my eyes off him.
Paul Loba is going to stay inside of the smoke and he gets another one. Uh, they better not take their eyes off him because he is finding kill after kill. Three picked up in this round already and I don't know how he's doing it so consistently but this has set them up with a perfect chance to win it. Star X coming back in and this is a good position. Henry has the corner and the 5-7 is ready to pounce and oh, finally gets away with it. Thought that might have been a bit of a blunder in his own words, but Vendetta <laughs> left in a 1v4. AK peers up, but Henry G will recover it. And take Blunders here. I feel like that's got to be Henry's main aim throughout the tournament. No blunders. Never, yeah. never get any play that... I know, actually, a lot, um, over the last few weeks, you know, he's been getting himself sharp, ready for the server. He shows. A little bit of a gap here in the smoke. Letney able to spray down hell onto Vendetta. He's also been practicing. So has that showed, Hulka? Is that in your opinion? Uh, no comment. Oh, well, that's all we really need to say. Lo Loba continuing to absolutely wreck them. 16 and 3. Twist for Oh, Ooh. twist again. I just love watching twists. Three kills. He'll go back to connector and Cat is in here too. Twist with a 4K. No way. No way. Twist with all five. And we were saying Team Loba are a very well-rounded team. It's not like he's going against complete new- Sure one X bet. If you want to get some talent members involved, hit up just Harry. Or Loba. And just Hugo. Just Hugo. <laughs> and we have the oh God. MP9. Surely not this time, Loba. For everyone and Star X full flick up. <laughs> That's how you deal with Loba. Everybody wait for Loba. And Henry's turn to try and do something. He finds Vendetta as he often does and gets a second out of it. That's very, very good from Henry G. But Twist once again finding himself in this lurk position. Cat taken out. And now Letney's turn to try and fight away the apartments. And Star X will beat him in that duel. It is now down to Acor. He doesn't really have the best of times here. He's one and eight. Considering his performance earlier today, this is not what you expect from him. Maybe he can find something here in the clutch, but he's been watched 23 with a lightning fast headshot. The English accent does Vendetta. He does both the perfect American accent and English and obviously Norwegian. It's very... Yeah, it's, it's not fair. You should be oh, energy. To accents. Dad again. I'll give him it. He's it's not a pistol. Aiko is going for the Zeus. This is the time for Vendetta to strike. Letney and Cat go down. It's now Loba and Aiko left. Trying any uh, any no scope wall bangs here? I haven't seen so too many. To do that. I don't even know where you can wall bang that easily on Mirage. I guess some of the boxes on the sites, but. Oh, maybe. Well, no. 23 is just going to get the kills. I don't, yeah. don't know if he's going to be able to do it right here. Play court with a oh, uh, lovely look. double. Finally comes to the action. He's on one kill until that and uh, somehow dodging all of the fire that's coming his way. He's found a lovely little safe haven on the step. And the nade goes down, Acor, Ooh. with the kill on 23. How has he got away from this? How has he got away? And now Loba replaces him inside of the smoke, and Vendetta's going to have to deal with that. And I don't know if he's going to be able to deal with it, but... Okay, that's one yes. way to give him a chance. They send him it's in, and Acor is about to get an ace. He has a challenge winning oh, moment. Oh, but... really disappointing. Especially because Acor had had such a quiet game up until this point. Yeah, he's, on, he's on for it. He was actually about to win the challenge. And then Henry G hack on the M4 for now. So no more jumping around corners for him. At least I hope not. No mid control this time for Team Buster, which is what they've been running in a lot of the rounds. Maybe scared of Acor. It's actually Letney Zorp they need to be concerned about. He's got the secondary sniper out into play. A couple of smokes into the A site. Looks like Team Loba are pretty happy to play retake here though. No, they're not. Loba's charging in. Well, good call from Acor over the top of the ticket box. He's looking for twists and twists his head. He's just been spotted crossing in behind the boxes. In the meantime, the other AWP is striking, but no way. Twist can't do it again, surely. Okay, twist on the second. And now just one more. It's Henry G. And for this time, he will not let Step Twist collide. Twist is out. Wow. 
Loba has no idea. And Twist is gonna go over the top. Haircut on two already. <laughs> Letney and Loba both down. And finally, Twist taken away by a court. What a flick down. We are starting to see so many highlight moments out of these players today. What a flick from Acor. Acor just has done almost nothing all game and then has had two fantastic rounds. Which could be big difference makers here, but Starix still in with a chance. There is a lot to do in this scenario though. It's not even easy to get the drop on any player because Team Loba have two CTs in connector pretty close to each other. So if Cat spots information, Henry will come over to help. Oh, and not even the kill. The nade might do it. There we go. And a bomb plant for Starix. Oh, Boy, that's, Henry that's with the nade climax. sends it in, dunks on him, and it's eight to seven at the half. Lobo's team will lead the way going into the break. This is, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the second half now because we had a real heater from Twist in that first half 22 and nine. He finishes, but I don't know the rest of I'm still at a ramp for Team Lobo. Going back to B though, those incendiaries could actually do some work here. Oh no, it's too late, it's too late! And that's it, they're already on you! Ah, uh, it's rough. He gets caught in a tough position and couldn't quite recover it. 23 and Buster pulling kills forward. And it's now down to three players remaining here for Loba's side. And they decide they don't want to go B, they want to go back. But going back right now means jumping into Twist. Oh, God. oh! It's like a fish out of water. He was flopping around. And while Loba's dropped behind Twist, he hears it, turns and does damage onto Loba, but not enough damage to bring him down. Letney and Loba now must combine for a round win here, a recovery. I don't know how, but Loba's got a way to jungle. Twist so clean again on the headshot. At least the bomb goes down, so they will have some money to buy in the next. Loba isn't winning this one. He's going to get taken out. Just too low on health. Twist comes in to clean it up. A 3k for Twist. Yet again, another multi-kill added to his collection. And that is now the scoreline tied up. But a four If I were him, I'd be wishing there was uh, some sort of reward for whoever gets the most kills on a map. Yes, he, that's what he's going for right now. Charging up mid, but now they know where Twist is. They're going to avoid him by going onto the A site instead. Yeah, probably a good call here. Loba is going to be playing for default. Cat goes around the corner, and Letney brings down Buster. 23's turn from up on top of the stairs. It's one from the FAMAS. Loba and Letney take two kills between them, and it is now a vendetta. MP9 oi, not working oi. the same way Loba's works. Can't control the garden hose of this one. And the bullets go flying all over the show. <laughs> He does a good job at bringing down Star X. And Loba start to shift their attention up towards B. They're going to be going there with a full pack of remaining players. The bomb with the back too. Plenty of utility here to try and get in towards the site. Here they come. Loba right through. Vendetta. First kill is his. Cat will trade it out. Twist has come over again. It is the scout. If he misses the first shot, generally difficult to get away with anything else. Henry G overruns him, overwhelms him, and Twist goes down. It's now a three versus two, and the weapons you look at here for Team Buster aren't great. You know, you've got Scout here for 23. She's going to come back in from short, see what she can spot. In the meantime, Henry's actually given up his life. He's given a chance to Buster there to fight, and the Eagles come through and landed a perfect headshot. Now Letney's playing up on Ninja Box, waiting for Buster to come out of the market. He sees the steps. He sees the player in front of him, but 23 is taking down his teammate, and oh, no way! How have they got back into that? 23 with some essential kills. And onto the defuse. Should be enough time for this. And she's going to have no issue defusing. That is ridiculous how they let that one slip. I think it Ooh, starts with Henry Peak, perhaps. Game. Yeah. The best shotgun you can use here. No one else has it, so... Vendetta might get himself $100 here. Gotta go B, though. Which is where he is right now. The rotate wouldn't be easy. As it stands, Team Loba set up outside this A site instead. Loba's got to be careful. A Mac 10 in underpass, not ideal. They're sneaking out through A ramp right now, though. I don't think they've been spotted. Here they go, right past Buster. Loba 
It's taken out. Cat able to take out Twist, which is a really important kill to pick up. And the Mac 10 of Henry G can swiftly be upgraded into a rifle. And unfortunately for Vendetta, his shotgun has done nothing. Once again, it is 23 who must pull this round back. She did it in the previous. Can she do it again? First already picked up. She's waiting for a mistake, but nothing will come her way. Henry will be the first point of contact if she goes through the connector. He might even be the first point of contact if she was to go through jungle here too. She goes through CT, Acorn's waiting with the AWP, letting his hair on the cross, and it is through the murder hole she goes, but Acorn misses his shot. And so, once again, a chance to save a weapon, perhaps. The time is not really favoring her, and she doesn't feel like she can get back in for this one. So she'll grab the AWP, she gets something out of the late round at least, and brings that into the next round. So 10 to 9, Loba's side in the lead again. Just looking to save this all, but let me... Oh, well, hasn't got his sight. That is the correct call, but there's a lot of utility likely to come his way. Well, here comes Twist. Right in towards the sight. Starks is coming with a headshot, and Starks holds, but Letney brings him down. Twist with another AWP is striking this time, and Twist, he's got three already. Looking to close an acorn, they know where he is. They can't let this slip to the den. And Twist has missed the shot on the cross on over, and Acor had a chance to fight CT, but eventually will handily bringing him all the way here. So obviously 23's had some moments too. Poor development. Really helping out. Letting him thrive. Sure. And live his best life. Ooh. Oh. Okay, scary, but then, uh, the I think they've I think they've sourced a bit of a, a weakness here. Rushing him down on the B bomb site. Straight through. Two kills picked up on the defenders of the B site. Not looking great. And I don't think Twist can really retake with the AWP here. So we're in a tough spot if you're team buster. So we'll see the save call come in. Star X backing away with Twist to get those rifle and the AWP into the next one. And that is going to concede the lead once more to Loba, who now goes up to 11 rounds to 10. The B site for me is weak. Yes. Yeah, listen. We're not gonna we're not gonna say why it's weak. We're not gonna call anyone out specifically. But it is a little weak right now. That could be an issue going forwards. Especially so late into the game. Oh, we have a bit of time to breathe though. Quick reminder to you that the GOAT League is brought to you by 1xbet. And if you use the promo code GOATMEDIA... Setting himself out middle. His teammates behind him. It is the 23 and twist combo inside of Connector. But they have been forced back by Utility. So mid control has been established here for Loba, who are taking a more tentative approach. But once again, we see Loba on an SMG. He's on the MAC-10 this time. And you don't want to walk through that smoke. You would have a deadly crossfire going against you. But as soon as the smoke fades away, you have a chance to remove the bottom stairs player, which was Buster. Oh. And Loba goes through, catches 23, looking the wrong way. And a headshot is there. It's starting to crumble here for Team Buster. Loba can bring their economy to absolute destruction. And good calling here as well, avoiding Twist, managing to predict his movements. They send in the hunting party to try and remove the big green, and they will. Twist is down. Vendetta holds on. Maybe he can save the AWP. Yeah, I like what Twist was trying by putting himself on the B site. I think he realized it was a point on the map that was becoming a problem area. But unfortunately for him in this round, Loba really just single-handedly opens up the other side of the map. He has been the SMG king on this one. And oh, he... P9 Maestro sticking with it into this gun round, even though he's got a bunch of money in the bank. Definitely time for someone on Team Buster to help out. Slower paced round from Team Loba in this one. A couple of nades now going out onto A, and it looks like they are committing with them. And Starix is in a pretty good position for one. Starix does get one. Cat trades it. 
and let me know that 23 is up in the ladder room. He'll send an aid in to try and cause a few problems. And I thought Loba was about to get a back 10 kill on Twist, but Twist was quicker, even close quarters with the sniper. Buster in the meantime removes Henry G and Twist gets another one. This CT op is an absolute turret. So difficult to topple. And they've got the bomb inside of the A site, just outside of the ramp. And Twist is going to hold for Letney to come through a T spawn. Still just under a minute left. 50 seconds still to play with here for Letney. Just a shame that bomb is firmly in the grasp of the CTs. Two of them making sure that they have this covered. The timing could be good here, but just as I say that, the CTs look back and he's on one health. Two angles, it's impossible. Twist, I think, ran out of ammo. Oh. Well, Twist has taken his shot. Well, there we go. That was a bit maybe of a waste. Maybe we'll get Acor instead. Yeah, maybe. Or the AKs. Maybe it could be anybody. Could be 23. Could be Loba. Who knows? Twist. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. Is that blind no scope? Okay. Lovely from Twist. Loba taken out, and now they're challenging Vendetta again. When things go and get tough, they just challenge this B side. But this time, 23 holds strong on Henry G. Vendetta repositions gets one and stays alive that's the key here for vendetta to try and buy some time for that rotation to come in and not only that but vendetta has got another one it's all an a chord and he's still got three more players to find twist has made the rotation over and he's got the mvp for vendetta and that one was well earned that shot from apparently okay cool so he was the other orper makes sense yeah good job a chord it's been the the king of the challenges so far in this tournament, it looks like another B play it's though from Team Loba. Be, Vendetta can't do it twice in a row. Charge him down, good flash to remove 23, and this time Vendetta goes down. I think this is a problem with the fact that they've played the same setup a lot of the time. 23, very predictable. They set out to deal with her straight away, then Vendetta just gets caught on the side alone. So, good flashes and great kills from Acor, and that's forced a save call to come in here for Team Buster. 14 to 12, Loba find the B side again. And I think sometimes at the, the top level, you might see the, the fast B apps boost, for example, maybe even just some flashes into B apps, sometimes to have occasional presence there early in a round, just to make that sort of play more difficult. But you are right. It, it is quite common, I think in general, for teams when you're kind of playing more of a puggy style, you don't know each other that well, you kind of just get used to playing all the standard spots all the time. And this is the sort of game first win here in the GOAT League. Loba, he's already through the connector smoke. He's up in jungle, but no one's there. No one's close to him, and no one has seen him, right? So, oh, now he's been spotted, but he's got assistance and star. He tries to fight at that range. Yeah, it's I mean, man, man. trying to put the Mac 10 down at that range doesn't really work out for him, but at least he did some damage. But his teammates now have the heavy lifting to do. Henry, Letney, and Cat still need to pull off the three versus four. And he's going to play up inside of the ladder room and 23 knows that he's in there, but starts to consider that maybe he could reposition to short. So she's looking for a connector. Henry is already up there, but Cat will start to join and catches 23 in the window. So there's a kill to come through and draw the numbers back and oh, so quick on the shot, but Henry survives. He doesn't go down to the shot of the AWP and now swings, but goes down to Buster who doubles up and somehow once again, it has flipped back into the advantage of Team Buster. Letney has to do everything with 35 seconds left. Four timing. There we go. Vendetta. Yeah. Vendetta takes the final kill, but yeah, this was the turning point. Vendetta takes the final kill, but yeah, this was the turning point. I'm going to comment on that nade from Twists. We'll just move on. He's been having a great game. Loba going for the Lurk Smoke, looking to isolate fights, and he's quick out into the site itself. He might just drop back here, though, now that he's been spotted. Oh, he's hanging around, and he actually gets the opener. Star X able to make quick work of it. And I think this has been the, the issue over the last few rounds for Team Loba. Is that Loba can get away with one, perhaps, but he's never really getting multi kills anymore. He's not able to stay alive for long periods of the round. And I don't need a lot of space at the moment either. Lightning comes in with Star X. It's 23's kill connecting onto Wood's cat. And we got a 3v3 established already, but look where the bomb is. It's on the ramp. 
It's in the hands of Henry G, and he hasn't really got any support with him, so he just has to kind of sit idly by and wait for his teammates to get into decent positions. Perhaps Letney can wait on this exact move. Vendetta crosses, and he's just tracking. He wants the knife, but he can't really get it. He'll go ahead and take the headshot instead. But it's Twist in a pretty unorthodox orping position. He's <laughs> yeah. playing underneath the wood. And luckily, they're avoiding him. They're making the call to go back to B. And 23 is about to be put under a lot of pressure. But she hears the steps. And Letney swings. 24 seconds. They are going to have to get a move on. But 23 tucks back for a second fight. And Henry knows she's on the site. But time's against him. He's going to have to run at her. He still gets the kill. And now it's a 1v1. Henry against Twists. Well, he's won a 1v1 against him already in this game. He's looking to do it again. Twist on 27 HP. And Henry G tucks in the corner. He has the health advantage. Perhaps he has... The positional advantage, but the timing oh. he does not have. Twist peeks around the corner. Henry G hits the ground. Oh, it was a nice reposition, but he didn't know where Twist was going. And Twist gets the timing just right. All 30 rounds in regulation. Who the hell knows? It could go even more with how this game's been going. 14-14. Early default for Team Loba. Again, he's back on that Mac 10, but he's not been as crazy at the start of this round. He seemed to be setting up outside this A site, though, and there's currently three CTs here lying in wait, including that orb of twists. Okay, well, Henry's in the barrel. And, and there's no peak actually from Starry from Sandwich either. So Henry actually gets away with something here, but. Oh! Whoa! Oh! What a turn from Henry G! What a round coming through now from Loba! It is all down to 23, who has everything to do with the FAMAS. And from nothing, everything seems to erupt. 23 goes forward, but she even dropped Twister here, Rifle. Right? Well, you don't even have money for that. Twist hit the first shot, but the Palace fight going against Star. Well, Henry G up in the palace. Thought there might be a challenge coming this way, but there's not. Instead, it's ramp to be peaked. Quick flash, peek in for information. No shots received. Not comfortable enough to commit down and take that control. Twist has had some massive moments. He has been magic throughout this one. There's the magician so often is. Oh, look at the rotate from Team Buster. They stacked A early. Now they're bringing players back to B at what looks like it could be just the right time. Oh, it's about Vendetta to crunch peeking. on B again, but this time they're reinforced. Vendetta's audible jump peaks have been heard out. Twist misses the shot on the Deagle, and now he's even down. It's all down to Starix and 23 to pull it back. A couple of kills from Starix, but 23 is so far away. Sprinting back with a mere Deagle and lower than half health. It's been a fantastic game of Counter-Strike between these two sides, but Team Loba... Look like they will be prevailing. Running forward, giving away a pick. Now this is where you have to hit the brakes. And Henry and Letney both tuck up in the site to use some cover. And 23 wields the AWP. The swing, Letney will close.